Thank you very much, uh, distinguished attendees. First of all, I would like to express my appreciation to Slovenia for organizing this open debate. The global security crisis has undermined the multilateral system. We continue to witness a growing number of conflicts and crises with a heavy toll on the civilian population, including the most vulnerable. The United Nations must be resilient to the attempts to create a situation when the use of force in interstate relations, acts of aggression, and gross violations of human rights and international humanitarian law are considered normal. As the theme of today's discussion is leadership for peace, I want to share my belief that indeed peace requires leadership and sincere political courage. I and my government are dedicated to closing the chapter of conflict in our region and transforming the dynamics into cooperation for prosperity, stability, and peace. Armenia stands ready to sign the peace agreement with Azerbaijan. The Armenian side has proposed to sign already agreed articles of the peace treaty before the COP29 in Baku, thus creating a conducive environment to move forward the peace process. The Crossroads of Peace Initiative of Armenia aims at unlocking the economic potential of the region and strengthening economic and cultural ties, thus contributing to the political dialogue and achievement of a comprehensive peace for the benefit of our all peoples. We stand ready to use the positive momentum and continue the border delimitation process on the basis of the agreement between our border delimitation commissions based on the Almaty Declaration of 1991. A strong and unequivocal support by the United Nations to the efforts of Armenia to achieve just and durable peace in the region is crucial. Thank you for your attention.